TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. We're not live. I'm tweeting. Uh, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your mom, uh, 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 I'm gonna edit that out. Turn on your post notification bells. So let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. You see the thing behind me, man. Premier League. We watch these extended highlights on Patreon, and I come over here and I speak what I feel. <sighs> What's Ham United versus Manchester City? Um, here's the final score. Uh, Holland hat tricked you. He had a hat trick last game, right? Two in a row is insane, right? Or uh, that's something to brag about. And I want to talk about Holland, bro. First goal, bro sat down and woosahed on West Ham. He sat down, crossed his legs, and went like this. That's disrespectful. Take that as disrespect. You get me, brother? West Ham, man. I I, I have a certain level of respect because Shaka, his slope... Um, her, his daughter, I'm, I'm cool with her. She was in one of my videos before. If you OG subs, you could go look back and find it. But at the end of the day, this is, y'all scored one goal and Man City scored it for you. It's supposed to be 3-0. And I'm not going to lie, this dude, Holland, he has a lot of aura. Two out of the three of his goals were scored by Aura. What I mean by that is, bro got close to the goal in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalie. Didn't even do anything spectacular. The goalie just froze up. Aura froze the goalie. Made him make a bad choice. The, the second goal, he, 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 he was, there was some skill involved. But the first and third goal... Bro, Aura took over and the goalie just froze up, man. This is insane, man. 3-1. Salute to Man City, I guess. Next on my little agenda, man, that I've watched, you know, Arsenal. Arsenal versus uh, Brighton. And I, I really have a question, bro. Do I have Brighton do I have Brighton confused? Are they good? Are they a decent team? Because I'm not going to lie. They, I'm, I'm watching these highlights over on Patreon, of course. Link down in the description. And, and, and I don't know if Arsenal had an off game, but Brighton was looking like a, 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 a good team that can give anybody in the Premier League some go. They like nag. They nag, 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 nag and stay in the game and get some goals off. It's crazy. But I'm going to say uh, this was a disappointing game for me to watch. <laughs> Not going to lie. Don't want to see a draw. In my mind, both teams lost. And that's just the fact of the matter, man. I want to see a win. I, I'm one of them people. I feel like if you ain't, if, if y'all draw, y'all didn't try hard enough. It's very simple, man. It's very simple. Well, let me get down to my breakdown now for Arsenal on a one goal attempt. I'm I'm watching these highlights and I'm telling the, I'm telling whoever's watching with me, hey, why do they keep trying this goalie like that? Every shot, every so the two main goals that they tried on the um on the goal on uh on Brighton's goalie before they scored. They were both telegraphed. And I'm saying, if you look at both of the passes, look at both the assists, because it was assist into a goal, into a strike. Look at the assist. Both assists. All three, actually. The two prior to the goal and the goal. They were lobs. So they were up in the air. They were up in the air. Then they hit the ground. And somebody stopped it and kicked like a little light footer in there. Like a little, little, little footer straight on. Like, oh, I could block that. I could block that. Me, the lit one. I can block that. Give me some type of variation. Why would you kick that 
anticipated ass kick. You know what I'm saying? Like who like we see that coming. But the third goal, you know what I'm saying? I mean the first, the go, the the only goal that they finally scored, it was a lob. It hit the ground and buddy from soccer, first of all, maybe that was the difference. It was from Saka. Saka lobbed it up over the defender. It hit the ground. And instead of just kicking it straight on, Buddy kicked it over the goalie's head. He kicked it high instead of low. Through some variation. And, I, and, you, and it's easy to say, oh, the goalie was probably expecting it to go low again because of the first two attempts was low. No. It was just not telegraphed. It's as simple as that. And like I said, man, this is the ending score. Nobody wants to see a draw. Everybody left disappointed. There were no winners. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, Rice. The dude, Rice, who got the uh, yellow card, who got the penalty, and there was a free kick about to happen. Buddy in that yellow shirt who got up very quickly and kicked the ball while he was still around, that's a 200 IQ play. That's, that, that's playing the game at another level of intellectual activity. I'm not even going to hose you. When he did it at first, I didn't. I thought it was against him, the penalty, like the red flag, the red card. And I didn't understand it at first. And I was like, what's going on? But then it came to me. Rice already had a yellow card. Got up, got on that dumb shit, trying to retaliate. Like, oh, man, we going eye for eye. You going to flop. I'm going to flop, too. Didn't work out. <laughs> got you a red card. Now it's 10 on 11. Now you're getting scored on. That's 200 IQ play. I don't want to leave this up here too long. You see this score at 96 minutes. Everton. First, let's start from the beginning. Let's just start from the beginning of this game. Everton versus Bournemouth did not care. Me personally did not care. Did not want to see it. Two undefeated, two two unwin, zero win teams. I don't care. I don't want to watch y'all. I don't want to watch y'all battle it out for a, a, a maybe win, possibly a draw. But I had a debate with myself. Like, something was pulling me to watch this game. 20 minutes. Why is this 20 minutes? Who, who, why would y'all put 20 minutes worth of time into this? 20 minutes for, of highlights that I watched on, 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 on Patreon. Link down in the description. This is probably my best reaction video that I've ever post done ever. Because I'm, I love sports, so it don't matter what sport it is. Once I'm locked in, I'm locked in. Um, so if you go check it out, I don't, I don't care. If you, just come for a month. Go check it out. Let's continue. I felt like for the first forty minutes of this game, I was watching two amateur teams, two teams that should not be in the Premier League. Two teams that should not be in the Premier League. Then Everton scored. Boom. And it was actually a good goal. Good assist. Good goal. Very controlled. I was impressed. The little shoulder. Boop. Get it down there. Boop. Kick it in. Tough. Then the second goal from Everton. Boop. Get it in there. I'm okay. Ah. You feel me? But hold on. I feel like you guys are over-celebrating. I said this in my reaction. You are over-celebrating. Where's the humility at? You gave up seven goals. Double hat trick and assist and points. Last week, your goalie shit. I don't care what nobody says. Yes, he's the goalie for this team, but he's ass. How is he employed? And Okay. This is not my team, and I am upset. Born, burn, burn mouth. They got BJ88 on their jersey. Blowjob88 on their jersey. 
Y'all got into a little scuffle. Ooh, 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 ooh. They got into a little scuffle. Ah, ah, get off me. Ah, you don't want me. You don't want to see none of this. Cool. Cool, you up 2-0. Humility is out the door. You know, God has a strange way of humbling people. <laughs> Golly. Oh, my God, it's so bad. He got a strange way to humble people. Yellow cards. Cool. Buddy with that hair, with that forehead, came down, hit a goal. I ain't think nothing of it. No, well, whatever, 2-1. Then I peep up on the clock, plus six. This six extra minutes added on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot of time here. There's a lot of time. The six minutes wasn't even needed at this point. So I, I continue watching. They score another goal. And the reason I was so shocked by it, because I was just speaking on humility. And then they got into the tussle. That tussle swung the entire game. The entire pendulum of momentum to Bournemouth. And keep in mind, Bournemouth is on the road. This is your home audience, Everton. This is a historical stadium. There's a lot of people here in blue. A lot. And we're 2-2 two -two at the 90th. What? Hold on, let me see, because I can see. Y'all can't. Let me see, where is this at? We're 2-2 two -two at the 95th minute. 2-2. Two -two. 95-42. When did the when did the third goal occur? Oh no no no! I'm tweaking. We're two two at ninety five forty two. Yeah 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 yeah. The third goal occurred ninety five forty seven. Five seconds later. Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I understand that there is a row of defenders before the goalie. But the goalie is the last, the last defense. And y'all continue because he's the, the national team's goalie to give this man a break. Bro just got three goals scored on him in seven minutes. Now, let me get the correct number for you. Let me get the correct number for you. I don't care if I'm new to watching it. I don't care. I don't care. We're not letting anything slide. 86, 86, 43 was the first goal. In 10 minutes, bro got three goals put up on him. In three, in 10 minutes, brother got three goals. I know this is a team sport, but I don't care. He got three goals put on his head top. He got four put on his head top last week. And the week before that, he got three put on his head top. That How many goals? That's ten. None more important than this three minute, th three in the last ten minutes. I don't care. I'm a newbie. I'm a novelist. You're here for blah, 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 blah. But if you let this slide, that's on y'all. And I don't think Everton is going to let that slide. Now, I know y'all love for them runs deep. I know it runs deep, but there's a moment. I don't care if we are three games into the Premier League season. You do not let this slide. In the, in the front office of Everton, I hope y'all having a goddamn meeting about this. Because this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. The I haven't seen a worse collapse. This is the worst collapse I've ever seen. This is the... And none, I'm not, not taking any credit from Burnmouth. Y'all salute, salute. Y'all stayed in there. Y'all did y'all thing. Y'all absolutely did y'all thing. But these, Everton, I don't care what y'all talking about. Get this goalie out of here. He has slow feet. He can't jump. He's not athletic. Get him out of here. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> yeah. You see it? I ain't even got to explain it. What's understood don't got to be explained. And for all the people out there who voted, I put up a poll and like 50% thought, man, you was going to win. I understand your loyalty and where it lies and what you have to do as a fan. But the reality of it is, is levels to this. And Liverpool is on another level. Liverpool is going to win the Premier League this year. Um, the team is too good. There's good defense. There's good goalkeeping. There's good offense. Like the 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 the, the coaching, the managerial skills. It's 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 just, it's just flowing. And yes, this is my first year watching, but I don't give a god. I don't care. It's in my blood. It's in my DNA. And Liverpool should always wear the white jerseys. They're much better than the red jerseys. The red jerseys is ASS, but the white jerseys, clean. 3-0 shutout. Shout out to the Man U fans. And buddy, uh, and my boy, I know you in the comment section. I know you watching this video. You bet me that you would pay my full trip if Liverpool won. They blew them out. They shut them out. They did not score. You shook on it. Let's communicate. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. I'll look up the prices and when I'm, and when I'm willing to come and I will send you the invoice. You know what I'm saying? I'll send you the invoice. That's much love. That's bravery. If you, that's brave of you to have bet me that. And even if, if you keep up with your end of the, the bet, we got to kick it for a whole day when I'm out there. A whole day is yours. <laughs> you got me. And that's real energy from you, man. Let's talk about the game, man. 3-0 shutout. Uh, it should be 4-0, but Salah was offsides. He more than made up for it. He got us a goal, and he assisted on a goal. Uh, uh, um, it, 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 it was just a clinic. I watched a full-on clinic. You know what I'm saying? And I can't wait for FIFA or FA25 to come out. I can't wait to run with Liverpool. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. There's nothing much for me to say. Y'all seen it. There's no critiquing. <laughs> Man, you, they played like, they played terribly. There was no defense. Y'all loaded up on the 4-4. What was it? What was y'all? 4-4-2 y'all was playing? Y'all loaded up on the 4-4-2 and still got ran through. I feel like 4-4-2 is a defensive strategy. Like, and, 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 and like, y'all had no off. Like, y'all wasn't even worried about the offense. Y'all was trying to play defense with the 4-4-2. But at the end of the day, Liverpool prevailed. And that that should teach you a lesson that you will never walk alone. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's get that flight booked. <laughs>